What's up Pokemon fans? I'm in Walmart right now and I came to get one of the brand new mystery power boxes six booster packs inside of this box So instead of simply just buying a box and opening up that's boring Let's get that box plus six additional booster packs and we'll figure out which one is the better buy Is that mystery power box or is it gonna be six random booster packs? You guys are gonna decide who wins out of the two here We are in the Pokemon card section and here is the brand new boxes six pack power box right here at lightning editions one promo card and it looks like it is twenty dollars yes is that the right one it is twenty dollars so let's go ahead and get this and then we'll grab six six additional booster packs from up here as well okay so let's just kind of go right down the line right here let's grab a sun and moon a burning shadows a forbidden light another burning shadows do they have any ultra prism at all none there is a primal clash back here i do see right back here i see an evolutions booster pack let's go ahead let's grab an evolutions booster pack looks like we have some crimson invasion all right so we're gonna grab these six booster pack plus oh no not those plus this box right here and then you guys are gonna decide which one is really worth it okay so apparently i did not pay attention to math class because i got seven booster packs right here so i'm gonna go ahead and put this burning shadow one back because that is the only double and then we'll get these six right here now we can go home all right pokey fam nation we are back here at home and i know this box came out about last thursday last friday we've seen a lot of people open them up yeah that's great that's good i love seeing what comes inside these boxes too but i wanted to mix it up a little bit i didn't want to keep it just boring and just open up the box and be done with it i wanted to compare it to six other booster packs boom right here which one really is going to be the better deal so we're going to be opening both these up comparing them and see which one you which one you should be spending your money on. What is up, everybody? I'm Real Breaking Nate. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Hoping to make your day just a little bit, just a little bit better. All right, which one should we open up first? Should we open up the six booster packs or should we open up the six pack power box? I'm thinking... I'm thinking let's open up the six booster packs first. Now, one of the first things that right off the bat that I noticed is that the six pack power box only costs $20 and this cost more than $20. So already the six pack power box mystery power box is doing a lot better because the price point is a lot better, but let's see how these pulls are. So we got primal clash. We got evolutions. We got burning shadows, sun and moon base set, crimson invasion and forbidden light. Just about one of everything that they had there. So let's go ahead and open these up. This was four nineteen dollars a piece per booster pack. So, you know, already at four booster packs, that's already like $16. So we are spending more just buying six booster packs alone. All right, let's go ahead. I'm going to mix them up like this. A mix, 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 mix. Now we have kind of done something like this in the past where we have compared the mystery power box and the mystery power cube to the equal equivalent in Dollar Tree booster packs. And with both of those products, Dollar Tree booster packs was the better buy. The Dollar Tree booster packs had the better pulls over those other, 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 utter like utter like a, like a cow's utter other over those other products all right uh wow i can't speak today i guess oh well i'm leaving that in there because i think that's kind of funny all right here we go let's look at this crimson invasion so but already this six pack mystery power box i think is already looking to be a lot better all right let me give you those code cards always giving you the code cards in every single video I don't want them, you take them, you deserve them. Uploading videos every single day, Monday, that's the real Friday. All right, here we go. Let's see what we got. We have a Dino, a Houndour, hashtag woof woof, Bunnelby, a Shellos, a Cubone, and of course it's, oh, that's actually not one of the sad Cubones. Uh, most of the Cubones are sad. Energy, let me pile that in my filing cabinet right back there. Peaking red card, Mill Tank, there's, I guess why I said utter earlier, right there, because I had a mill tank. I had a mill tank in the booster pack. A hackamo o oh, o oh, hashtag woof woof, and then a motic. Oh, okay, that's nice. So we have a hollow pull right here, and then there is our reverse hollow. All right, let's go into forbidden light next. Woo! I was at Wizard World Comic Con this past weekend in Columbus, Ohio. I interviewed some cool celebrities out there, like Miley Flanagan, who is the voice of Naruto. Um, lots of other fun celebrities, Matt Ryan, who plays Constantine, um, Henry Winkler. If you want to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff, a lot of you fans came out to see me as well. So thank you so much. If you came out, if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff, 
Check out my social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. Uh, real breaking day on all of that stuff. I would love for you to go and follow me, especially Instagram. Instagram is my jam. Uh, so if you're going to follow any of them, follow Instagram. So you can see a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff on there as well. Oh, Volcanion Prism card. We got ourselves a good pull. And then a Toxicroak is our rare. But check that out. We have a Volcanion Prism card. So, so far... We have gotten a Hollow Rare, boom, and a Prism card out of just two booster packs. So, six pack mystery power box. That's a lot to say. You better be on your A game because the PokeFam Nation, we're opening up six random booster packs and we're pulling some good stuff. We're pulling some good stuff. All right, Evolutions is up next. All right, got a lot of good videos for you this week. Of course, we got hidden Pokemon cards this Friday. We didn't have one last Friday, but we have one this Friday coming at you. This booster pack won't go away. All right, here we go. I'll give you the code card after we look at what is inside. Three, two, all right, here we go. We have an Onyx, a Growlithe, a Machop, Pikachu, a Doe Duo, Super Potion, not just a regular potion, but a Super Potion, Slowbro Spirit Link, Revive, a Reverse Hollow Porygon, and a Mewtwo. I will take a Mewtwo any day of the week and twice on Sundays. There is the code card right there. Let me know your guys' pulls. Have you bought any of these six-pack mystery power boxes yet? And what have your pulls been? I would love to know in the comment section down below. I always love discussing with you guys. That's why I love for you to comment so I can either try and heart the comment so you at least know I saw it or reply back to it. I love talking to you guys. And I really try to reply as much as humanly possible. All right. Set that code card down there. Of course, I'll give it to you in just one minute. All right, we have a Honedge, a Hippo, an Electric, a Phoebus. Phoebus, you're not ugly. We think you're beautiful. Everyone is beautiful here on this channel. Skitty, Vibrava, a Gorbice, a Dublade, a Reverse Hollow Metacham, and then, okay. I was expecting a little bit something better than that. We Usually we have pretty good pulls with our Primal Clash, uh, but that time around we did not. We did not, unfortunately, but that's okay. That's okay. We're still going strong. We're still going strong, PokeFam Nation. If you're new to the channel, first of all, thank you so much for joining me. We have a lot of fun here on the channel. I try to make it unique. I try to keep it real with you guys. I try not to edit funny things out like when I said utter earlier. I don't, I don't, I don't try to edit that out. Things are not perfect here on this channel. And I want you to know that I'm just as big of a Pokemon fan as you are and we try to keep it real. We try to keep it real. All right, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not yet a member of the PokeFam Nation. All right, what was that? That was a Burning Shadows. Okay. Here we go. Mega Char... Not Mega Charizard. Uh, that would be pretty cool if it was Mega Charizard, but Hyper Rare Charizard. That's what I'm trying to think of. Horsey, Cutie Fly, a Ladyba, a Grimer, a Lolan Grimer, Ryolu. Is it Ryolu Day? It could be Ryolu Day. Energy, a Karelia. A Simi Sage, Tormenting Spray, Reverse Hollow Electros, and a Salazzle, Salazzle Dazzle GX. And I can't help but think every time I see Salazzle, I always think of Super Duper Danny. If you guys have ever seen her channel, um, she's a great, great Pokemon YouTuber and great YouTuber in general. If you've never seen Super Duper Danny, go check her out. All right, Salazzle GX. I always think of her whenever I pull Salazzle, and I gotta say Salazzle Dazzle as a little tribute to her. All right, and then there is the code card right there. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? We had E3 this past weekend. We saw some cool stuff uh, when it came to Nintendo. Definitely excited about a lot of that stuff. Um, but we did see Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. There was some demos going on there. And we did find out that Mew is going to be exclusively in the Pokeball Plus. Does that make you want to buy it? Does that make you want it more? How do you? What's your thoughts on that? I personally, I think it's a good move. Um, I was already going to get the Pokeball Plus in the first place, and now this makes me want it even more. Um, I'm excited about the game overall. I think it's going to be a, um, it's a great new take on the Pokemon franchise. Um, but of course, we still have our core Pokemon RPG games coming next year. So it's a little, it's something new. It's something fun for everyone. I think we should just enjoy it for how it is. But I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'm loving it. I'm going to buy it, and I'm probably going to recommend it to all of you guys as well. Energy, Rotom Dex, um, we have Great Balls, we have Charger Bugs, we have, oh crap, Abominable. I wasn't feeling it, I wasn't feeling that pack, I wasn't feeling that pack, and it might have been because 
I, I peeked a little bit, I peeked a little bit, and I saw it was a green coat. Uh, I gotta keep the honesty with you. I tried not to look, and I looked down for a minute, and I saw it was a green coat, and I was like, oh, there's gonna be nothing good in here. But, but you know what? We're still having fun, and we still have, we still have, check this out, we still have our box, our mystery power box to open up. See, that's what I'm talking about, keeping it real with you guys. I was honest, I accidentally, I didn't mean to peek, it was an accident. All right, there's the mystery power box. That's what I'm talking about, keeping it real with you guys. All right, let's go ahead and take the plastic wrapper, the plastic wrapping off, as you can see right here, and then we're gonna read some of the stuff that is on the box. Um, so right here, it does say six pack power box. And then on the front of it, right down here, it says lightning edition, which I think is interesting. Um, and that might mean that there's more coming. I don't know, I, don't, I have no clue. You can see it right there, it says six booster packs, plus one promo card. But what I really wanna read is what is on the back right here. Check this out. Come along on this reading adventure with me. Supercharge your collection with the brand new six pack power box lightning edition. Each box contains six randomly assorted booster packs from recent releases and contains one electrifying, hard to find promo card. What I do like about this already is that I think it is a little bit more clear than what we have seen in the past with the mystery power boxes and the mystery power cube. I think this one's a little bit more clear, so kudos, my hat's off to you. My hat's off to you for, for making this a lot more clear. Um, so you can see right here it says recent, recent releases. I think that is a great word to add into that. No confusion, but it does say hard to find promo card. That one could be a little bit like, mm, is it really hard to find? Is it really? I mean, promo cards are not that hard to find. So let's see what your definition of hard to find is. But I do think, I do think the wording is a whole lot better. And I do think the general theme for the six pack power box is a lot better. So this is so, so, so much better. 10, 20 times better than the mystery power box and the mystery power cube. That's just my opinion, of course. You guys are all uh, subject to your own opinions and your own opinions all matter as well. All right, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Of course, what you see right here, we do see Breakpoint, XY, um, Ancient Origins, Sun and Moon, Base Set, Evolutions, and Roaring Skies. So I'm just gonna reach right in and we do see a Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. I th That must be the promo card right there. Um, what is up next? Sun and Moon. We have Breakthrough, we have another Breakthrough, we have an Ancient Origins, and we have an Evolutions, and that is all that's inside of this box. Now I do find it interesting that this one comes in the cardboard, but none of the other ones do, so I don't know necessarily the reasoning behind that, but you know what, this is actually not a bad assortment of booster packs, so I'm quite happy with that assortment for $20. Now let's see if the pulls are in there. Are the good pulls in there? All right, let's go ahead and look at that promo card. Hard to find promo card is what it said. Okay, okay, that's actually really good. That's actually really good, Ashes Pikachu. I would definitely say it's not hard to find, but it is one of the more rare promo cards. That is very, very good. Okay, you guys have stepped up your game on these, on these mystery power boxes. I am loving this one. I'm already saying I will probably definitely buy more because I think that is great. So right there, already off to a great start. Let's go ahead and just jump into our booster packs. All right, put the code card down here. That was a Sun and Moon base set booster pack that we're opening up right now. We have a Litten, a Firo, and what do birds do? Hashtag birds can fly. Fly away bird, fly away. A Paris. A lily pup with those sad, sad eyes. Doggy in the window eyes. Take me home. Bond sweet. Energy. Put that in my filing cabinet. Metapod. A tour cat. Rainbow energy. A reverse hollow spin. Uh. All right. And then we have a gold duck, which I do like Psyduck. It's my favorite Pokemon in the entire world. But it's a, it's not a Psyduck. It's a gold duck. All right. I'm going to set that right there. And then, of course, here is the code card. Boom, right there. If you claim it, let me know what it is in the comment section down below. Oh, what else we got here? Now we are going to a breakthrough. All right. For some reason, when I say breakthrough, it makes me really want a Kit Kat for some reason. I have no idea why. I just want a Kit Kat. We got the sad Cubone right here. Oh, sad Cubone. A hippo, a Cyndaquil, 
A Goldeen, Goldeen, Goldeen. Fly away, Starly, fly away. We have a Pinsir, a Storavia, fly away, Storavia. Ooh, reverse hollow parallel city. I don't mind if I do, don't mind if I do. And then a Halucha, one of my favorite Pokemon. Halucha, in my top five favorite Pokemon of all time. Definitely. I do like that we got a reverse hollow parallel city. That's cool. I always enjoy when I get a reverse hollow trainer card. Breakpoint is up next. So we did pull an ultra rare in the six random booster packs. Can we pull one in the mystery box? All right, three and two. We have a drowsy, drowsy, a slowpoke, a clefairy, a psyduck, a phantom, a mobile, a nuzleaf. A Puzzle of Time, Reverse Hollow Star You, and a Hypno. I guess that makes sense since we did get the Drowsy, wherever the Drowsy was. Now I'm trying to find it, and of course I can't find the Drowsy. There it is. There it is. A match made in heaven. Drowsy and Hypno. All right, let me set that over there, and then of course give you guys the code card. Boom! Code card goodness. All right, Ancient Origins is up next. You know what? $20? This is not a bad deal at all. All right, that was Ancient Origins. I have a short-term memory problem, I guess. Okay, because I totally forgot what the set was, and I just said it. A Golet, a Larvesta, a Porygon, a Persian, Eevee. Yes, let's go Eevee. Which one are you going to get? Let's go Eevee? Let's go Pikachu. Let me know down below. Karelia, a Sableye, Forest of Giant Plants, a River Solo, Metagross, and then our rare is going to a Hollow Verizian. So that's actually our first Hollow Rare of this mystery box. All right, and there's the code card. Evolutions and Crimson Invasion are up next. It's the very last ones. All right, can we get a Full Art Misty's Determination in this booster pack? That would be pretty cool if we could do that. All right, we have a Tangula, a Machop. A Weedle, an Onyx, a Staryu, Full Hill, a Porygon, Pidgeot Spirit Link. You know what? It's, it's got a bird on it. It's got Pidgeot. You know what? Go ahead. Fly away, my friend. Fly away. A Reverse Hollow Pikachu. And then, oh, oh, what do we have here? What do we have here? Mega Pidgeot EX. Check that out. Full art goodness inside of this box. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. And I know it's a bird. I know it's a bird, but I cannot make it fly. I'm sorry. I can, I'll, how about this? How about a gentle fly? Like, fly, fly, fly away, fly away. There we go. All right, it's flying, it's flying. We pulled a Full Art Mega Pidgeot EX out of our Evolutions Booster Pack. You know what? That might be better than the Salazzle. That might be better than the Salazzle. All right, here we go. Last Booster Pack, the one that's actually in the cardboard. I had someone... Either someone tweeted me or on Instagram, I don't remember your name, and I, I'm so sorry that I don't remember your name, uh, but I saw that you had um, tagged me on Twitter or Instagram that you got a plasma freeze or plasma blast out of your box, and I thought that was really, really cool. I was kind of hoping I'd get one myself. All right, here we go. Crimson Invasion. Four and two, last booster pack. Give this video a thumbs up. Maybe it'll give us some good luck in this last booster pack. A Weedle, an Alolan Geodude, an Aeron, a Ghastly, a Staryu, an Energy, a Hakamo, oh, 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 a Diggersby, Peking Red Card, a Reverse Hello, Chimichar. Oh, not the best, not the best. But we did pull, we did pull this Full Art Mega Pidgeot EX right here. And I'm going to say, overall, I think that the box, the Mystery Power Box 6-pack was better than the 6 random booster packs. I'm saying it. I think you guys definitely stepped up your game from the last two previous boxes, or the last two previous products, the Power Cube and the Mystery Power Box. I think this one is definitely good, and you guys are heading in the right direction. I'm giving you an A-plus on this box. I'm going to go buy more. Let me know what you ended up pulling in your mystery power box. The Pokemon fun does not stop right here. Make sure you check out yesterday's video. Boom! That you see right down there. I found a Kmart randomly in the middle of nowhere. And they had a set that I have not seen in a very, very long time. I cannot believe it's been sitting there for all these years. I bought it. We opened it up. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. And I will see all of you, all of you in tomorrow's video. Peace, love, and a high five.